I was born and raised in Stockholm, Åkersberga, a small town just outside of Stockholm. And I've lived here since I was born. I think I was around six or seven years old when I first started playing floorball. It's really, really popular here in Sweden or even other Scandinavian countries. I still play floorball to this day. I play goalkeeper because I don't have to run as much. It just suits me very well. And I don't trust anyone else to make the saves, so it's perfect for me. When I first started playing video games, I was very young. I was playing a lot of uh, FIFA and NHL on PlayStation. Then I switched to PC, and then when Rocket League came out, I just got hooked. The first time I thought, wow, this could actually be a thing for me, was when RCS was announced. In Season 1, I was playing a team called Kapow with Alot and Sniper Kid. And there was two qualifiers. In Qualifier 1, I played with them. And between the qualifiers, you could make a roster change. And, and that's when Apache approached me and told me to mock it. They said that he wanted me. I just couldn't resist saying no to that because I always looked up to him. I joined mock it. We qualified for LAN. I was really nervous about playing on stage for the first time. And I didn't know how I was going to perform, how the team was going to perform. Unfortunately, we lost both matches, got swept. And um, the day after LAN, I decided to leave the team. And um, I decided to make a team with a lot and Doug. We qualified for CC2 League play, but we just missed out of playoffs, which really hurt us because we thought we were going to go really far. So um, we all three decided to not stick together. Hearing all the criticism about me made me realize that I need to actually work way harder um, to actually become better. And then coming to season three, Remco approached me saying he might need a sub to play at LAN. Maestro was going to have exams in that month, so um, he needed a sub just in case he can't make it. Um, it was the first time for me being a sub, so it was really, really like frustrating that I wasn't playing every weekend. But when I finally heard that Maestro wasn't going to LAN, I wanted to try the hardest I could and win. At Season 3 LAN, it was really exciting for me to play with them. It was really hard to fill Maestro's shoes. We faced the number one NA seed in LG, and they actually crushed us. And then we went into lower bracket, where we talked about it. Devo told us he didn't really feel like he can do whatever he wants to do, and it's holding him back. Me and Remp just told him, do whatever you want, and we'll be behind you. He actually goes mental and scores everything left and right, upside down, and we win the entire round. For me becoming a sub, I always thought I was going to be out of the scene since I was not on the team roster. And then winning LAN, it made me realize that I'm actually a really good player. And that's, I think, why I'm a world champion. It's because I took criticism in a good way to turn it around and make myself better. I have a new team. Now we'll try to repeat what I did in season three to get the back-to-back -back world championship.